Welcome back beer tubers. Today we're taking a look at another canned beer from Pizza Port. This is Chronic Ale. This is their 4.9% Amber Ale and they've been brewing this one a while and uh, it's part of their core beer. They seem to always have this in, on draft at all the Pizza Port locations and uh, it makes sense that they would put this beer in with their hoppy beers because this is leans more towards the maltier side of, of the range. Pours out, I mean, it, it does look like an amber ale. It's got that like deep, deep uh, gold, go, almost going into copper, but not quite. And uh, the head on there is, it's tinging towards kind of yellowish. Uh, let's get the aroma. I do get some hops on the nose. They tend to be pretty earthy, English in style. Or, or at least maybe, um, maybe, maybe like slight German characteristics too. Get a floral, earthy, spicy note to it, and then you get the big bready malt characteristic, like a biscuit, more biscuit than a bread. A uh, little bit of caramel note coming through. Not a ton of caramel based on the color, just the lighter caramel malt. Definitely like a, a honey characteristic in there as well. So. Uh, let's give it a try. Cheers. Yeah, it's just a really nice mellow amber ale. You get a little bit of a hop kick up front, but it's mostly just malt. It's an easy drinking beer. They used to brew this with hemp seeds, hence the name Chronic Ale. Or, I mean, that's where it comes from, even though they have this whole Chronic Ale as in like a Chronicle. Uh, on the side of the can, but yeah, it used to be brewed with hemp seed, which if it did, I guess would give it more of a nutty characteristic. So eventually they took that out. It's just an easy drinking, uh, it's a really approachable type of beer. Uh, certainly one of their gateway beers. They do make, uh, on the pub side, they'll do cream ales and, and uh, you know, more balanced pale ales, and, but Chronic is just the amber, it's a, it's a good go-to transition beer for people getting into craft beer. Even though it does have a little bit of a hop character, it's mostly on the malty side. Forgot to mention, I'm drinking this beer less than two weeks old. Dates on the, the bottom of the can. So I imagine with a little more time, the hop character is going to drop out. But up front, falls the nose pretty well. Uh, sort of floral, spicy, earthy thing going on. Just a brief flash of kind of bitterness up front. It just really transitions big time into that that bready, doughy, biscuity note. A little bit of like a honey characteristic, very slight caramel note. Um, finish is pretty dry as well. Uh, the sweetness kind of goes away, so the, I imagine they're drying out the beer. Uh, sort of has a combination of like English characteristics, not quite. Um, it doesn't have that yeast in English yeast strain though, and it has that sort of German amber lager kind of esque characteristic, but it's without it being a lager itself. Even though it's fairly clean, there's there's probably just a little touch of a, a, a potential yeast ester going on in there, but I'm pretty sure they're probably just using like cow ale to ferment it. So for me, it's hard to grade this beer because. It, there, there's absolutely nothing wrong with it. It's a great session beer. This is something that it would would be good to go to if you were kind of wanted to change up from drinking their hoppy beers, or you just want something that's really light. Don't really think about it. Feel with a little more malt character. Uh, so I mean, as is an overall beer, I guess it's more like a C. It's just pretty average. I mean, it's but there's nothing wrong with it. More just style. It's more that B B plus type of range because it's a, it's a really clean, well-brewed beer, sessionable, low alcohol. It's got enough flavor to it. Uh, it's, it sort of takes a lager-esque sort of characteristic in ale form, and it's really approachable, great gateway beer into craft beer. So, I mean, um, you know, worth checking out. You know, if you're looking for an amber ale from Pizza Port, uh, it's probably one of the better amber ales you can get around town and there's not very many of them so anyway that's gonna wrap this one up until next time please comment and subscribe cheers